Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess. If you're new, hi, I'm Jess. I know it's been a while since I've actually sat down to film a beauty video, but here I am. I've got something very exciting. Um, it's the W7 Taxi palette. Look at it, look at it, look at it, like it's bigger than my head. Lighting, don't do that please. Um, we are in a different background at the moment because I've been kicked out of my filming spot. Thank you very much. Um, but yes, this is the 35 Shimmering Shades of Natural Eye Color palette brought out by W7. Doesn't actually say W7 on the palette, but if you look on the book bumping you, if you look on the back of it, it does say War Paint, which is their brand. So it is actually by W7. 35 eyeshadows, that's what it looks on the back. I paid just under $12 for this baby. Um, that's what the palette looks like. Very reminiscent of Morphe. Feels exactly the same as Morphe because I've got the Morphe 35C palette. But we're going to see what the colours like, what the actual quality is like and all that jazz. If I can actually open it, can I open anything on this channel? No. Hold please. This is what the inside of it looks like. Absolutely beautiful colours. Kind of reminds me of the Morphe, is it the Na Nature palette? Nature 2 palette. Um, it's got that kind of warm vibe to it. I will insert swatches somewhere in this video. I'm not going to swatch all of them because there's 35 shades and I will be here forever and a day. Um, doesn't come with a mirror. But as you can see, it's very Morphe-like. So yeah, we're going to dive right on in, get some colour on my eyeballs. I've already done my base, so I'm hoping there's not going to be too much fallout. We'll see what the pigment's like and just have some fun with some makeup. Welcome to my very close up face. Hi. Um, so yeah, don't really know what type of look we're going for. It says shimmering, but there is, I think a couple of mattes in here, which is great. We all want a few mattes. So there's like probably three or four mattes from what I can tell just by looking at it, but I'm gonna just set my base with a matte cream they're not named which is always kind of annoying so I'm gonna set it with that cream um, I do apologize if you guys can hear that any noises in the background I'm in the lounge room filming my fish tank is in the kitchen and the fish pump is very loud but I will try and put music over blah 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 but as I said, I've been kicked out of my, my filming spot. Rude. Um, it does actually pick up nicely on the brush. Powdery, but... Kind of what eyeshadow powder isn't powdery. Like, you're not going to be able to see much different because it's a cream. It's a cream base. It seems like it's a really well thought out palette too, which is quite nice, especially for the price point. Under $12, I'll link the seller that I got it off on eBay in the description box down below. This is just a designer brands brush by DB. Um, next to deepen up the crease, it looks matte. I'm going to take that color. It's really awkward trying to show such a big palette on camera. So far they actually feel really nice and smooth. Like you're not actually going to see overly too, too much just yet. There's definitely a pigment coming up. Like I think you can see the difference. That's a nice little transition shade. 
I do actually think it's quite a nice transition shade. They feel very smooth, non-patchy. Blends out nice. I'm just going to take more light brown. It kind of like jumps from light to quite deep all of a sudden. And I'm going to take that shade. Still using the same designer brand brush. That was actually not too powdery. It picks up again quite well. run it through my crease not really as pigmented as what I thought that shade even though it came up on the brush oh there we are it does apply onto itself well So it's not as pigmented as what I thought and it's a little bit more red toned than what I thought as well because I thought it was going to be more brown but you yeah, know we'll go with it. So the colours are building up quite nicely. I do actually really like how they apply on the eye. They apply well onto each other as well. They layer up quite nicely. Um, I'm going to deepen up the outer V I think with deeper tone maybe that one again it picks up really well on the brush I'm just sweeping it through like my crease and then to the outer V Okay, I'm not sure if it went patchy then. Yeah, it's got, see, if you can see there, it's gone a little bit patchy. Let's see if I can build it up. colour didn't seem to quite like that bit but I do have trouble with that eye as well like it always seems to cling in that area don't know why packing it on I mean it's definitely given some more depth but it's not as dark as what I thought again so we're going to take another colour and see if I'm going to fix that little bit of patchiness and I'm also like wiping the brush as it goes too like well, there we are Had some fallout, but that's alright, we can fix it up. They do blend really nice and they do feel soft. They're not hard pressed in the pan. And I've fixed up the patchiness at least. And it's looking better and it's blended out all right at least fix up the fallout actually i do quite like these shadows because they do blend out quite nicely like you can see the transition the gradient so it's gone like the slightly patchy on that eye but as i said it always kind of does like that's my bung eye as i like to call it or my dicky eye but it's not like that on that one but we're going to try a shimmer because there are some beautiful shades some 
beautiful, beautiful shimmers in it. Like, like, oh, can we? Look at it, 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 look at it. So pretty. And I know what I want to put it on the eye. What do I want to do? Do the gold. Wow, the shimmers feel really, really nice. Like I've swapped from my left eye to my right eye and yeah, back again to the right eye. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Alright, shimmers are nice. Do I try that one on the left eye? Let's do that. And they're not even wet. Alright, that had fallout. That's a problem. What, since when does shimmer have fallout? They're actually really beautiful shimmers and they finish off the look quite nicely. I'm going to put some on my brow bone and the inner corner highlight. It could be like a day to night kind of look. I just did some mascara and some eyeliner off camera just to, you know, speed up the look a little bit. Um, for inner corner highlight, I'm just going to, oh, this is pretty. Yeah. The shimmers are beautiful. And then for the brow bone, I'm going to take... Final thoughts of this palette and then I'll show you the finished look and then swatches at the end of the video. Um, I actually really don't mind this palette. I was quite dubious at first because some of the mattes were like, um, but they weren't bad. Like for just under $12, it's not a terrible palette. Like I love the shimmers. Quite good quality. Um, they don't feel horrible and chalky. They're not too too patchy. You can work with them. Do I recommend it? Yes, because the shimmers are beautiful. Like I didn't even have to use them wet. So yeah, really really pretty shimmers. And free shipping. I'll link the seller that I bought it off again, as I said, down below in the description -y bit. And yeah. Overall, a really nice little compact palette. Probably really good for traveling if you go traveling um, and just want to add to your collection if you're after an affordable, good palette. Because I know there's fakes out there of Morphe and that kind of thing. At least this is a branded one. I don't do fake makeup on my channel. So I'm always after ways of bringing, you know, Morphe dupes or, you know, dupes palette kind of reviews and this is one of them that I'm really happy that I've found so give this video a thumbs up I'll insert swatches and I'll see you guys in another video soon bye